All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at the group by clause in SQL. So before we get started, uh, the first thing I want to do is let's look at our products table. Okay, just so we uh, can get a reminder of where we are. So let's look at select all from products. Okay, and we'll run this. Okay, looking at our results table here, we can see that we get five rows back. So we have five products in our products table. If we look at the store ID columns, uh, each product belongs to a certain store and we have IDs of one and two in our table right now. So that indicates to us that we have two uh, stores in our uh, database here. So with this, uh, here's the query I'd like us to try to perform. I'd like to know the most expensive product from each store, okay? So we could write separate queries, you know, uh, one for each store, you know, uh, select max price from products where store ID is one, record that result, select, you know, blah, 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 where store ID is two, you know, just replace the, uh, the where store ID value there. Uh, but we can actually do this in one query. So in order to do that, we're going to have to learn about the group by clause. So before we try to do the most expensive product from each store query, let's look at just a very simple uh, group by or an initial, have an initial look at the group by clause. So I'm going to clear this out here. Let's say select, and then let's just get, the st let's say store ID, and let's do that from products. And now here's where we're going to do the group by. Okay, so we'll do group by there are two separate words here and now we want to tell the table how to like what column to use in order to group uh, the result set on so let's say store ID in this case okay and then let's run this query and see what we get so in our results table here we get only get two rows back uh, and it each row contains the ID of a give of a store in our database now what's happening here when we're writing our group by clause and we're saying hey group by the store ID it's going to, in from the products table, we're going to take our, our products table and this query is going to go through that products table and grab all of the unique values that are in the store ID column. And it's going to create essentially buckets. Think about it as uh, giant buckets stamped with the ID, those unique IDs. Okay, so in our case, we'll have two big buckets, one stamped with the ID of one, one stamped with the ID of two. Now from there, it's going to look at all the rows and take the row and say, okay, this row has a store ID of, of one, let's put it in the one bucket. This one has an ID, a store ID of two, let's put it in the, the two bucket, or the two container, okay, one and two containers. Buckets, containers, however you wanna think about them. So once it goes through all the rows and store, you know, puts them in the appropriate containers or buckets, we now have that result set, but we can always select essentially the column that we're grouping by on directly, okay? So for example, if we additionally try to say price here, and we uh, run this query, we're, getting, we're gonna get an error saying that the price, uh, the product's price column must appear in a group by clause or be used in an aggregate function. Okay, now we looked at aggregate functions in a previous video, but this is what we have to do uh, with any underlying columns that are sent back from the group by uh, results set here. We can't select the underlying columns directly. So uh, if we wanted to get, in our case, we wanted to get the maximum price from of a uh, product from each store, we need to be able to use price here, but we have to do that with an aggregate function. Now conveniently, since we want to know the maximum price of our product from each store, uh, we can use the max aggregate function here. So we can say max and then wrap price in parentheses here, okay? And now if we run this query, we will see that we get back uh, an extra column here in our result set. Whoops. So we get store ID, uh, store with the ID of two has a product, a maximum product price of 25, and the store ID with one has a maximum product price of 250. Now, the max uh, name that's being placed here on this result column isn't very descriptive. Of course, just like before we've seen in the past, we can rename that to uh, using the as keyword. So we can say as, uh, I don't know, most expensive price, uh, product price. Okay, now if we run our query here, it renames that column for us and we see uh, those same results here. So now what if we wanted to know how many products each store has that it's selling? Well, the way to do that is if we get rid of this uh, second select right here, uh, what we need to do again, remember we can't do any direct selections uh, of any of the underlying columns. And then 
this case, we actually don't need to. We just need to know like, hey, uh, container one and container two, how many total you know rows have been inserted into your containers? Okay, so uh, what we can do here is we can use the count uh, function here. And so we'll say count, and then inside the parens for the count function, we can just simply say star, because that will you know go across every column. And if we run this query here, we can see that, okay, the store with the ID of two has three products, and the store with the ID of one has two products. And that's, if you remember from the beginning of this video, that's the exactly uh, exact uh, results that we saw when we just did the select all from products and looked at the uh, actual rows in that table. So let's end out this video with a little exercise uh, for you all here. And uh, I'll give you a few minutes. You can pause the video here to try to do this on yourself. And then uh, I'll show the answer, uh, of course, to end out the video. But let's say uh, what we want to do now is we want to find the average price of a product from each store. Okay. So uh, let me go ahead and clear this out here. So again, let's do a select all from products. Okay, let's run this and look at our results set here. So we have all these uh, products for each store in this table, right? Uh, so the first two belong to store with the ID of one, and then the last three uh, products here belong to the store with the ID of two. So for each store, we want to know what the average product price is. Okay, so we're going to have to somehow use just these two columns, get their average, and then use these two uh, or these three uh, rows here and get their average. So that's the exercise uh, to end out this video. Pause the video here, take a few moments to try it for yourself. And then when you're ready, uh, come back here, unpause it, and we'll see uh, how I would write the query. All right, so let's get started here. Now it can be a little weird to uh, write out um, the select portions of the group buys before having the rest of the uh, clause in here. So what I sometimes do is I'll just write the select keyword uh, and just leave it blank for now and then come back and fill it out at the end. So let's do that here. So let's say select nothing and then we'll just say from products. And now we want to group by the store ID. Okay, let's end off that. Okay, so we're grouping by the store ID. Uh, we're not going to use the store ID information in uh, the calculation here. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and show it in our results set. So we'll select it just so we can see, you know, for each store what the max or what the average price is. So we'll say store ID. So select store ID. And then what we want to do is we need to have access to those price columns uh, but it, or to the price column. But again, that's something from the underlying results set after we do the group by. So we can't directly select that. Remember, so like we can't say price. Let's just review. We saw this earlier, but let's go ahead and run it again. This is where we see that error that it must be used in the group by clause or in an aggregate function, which should, uh, if you see this error, it should give you um, a reminder, hopefully, of, like, oh, right, I can't select the underlying column directly. I need to do something with that uh, via an aggregate function or use it as a group by. So to get around this, now, again, we want to know the average price of our product for each store. So what we can do is just say AVG, which is the average function. Okay, and we'll wrap price in parentheses. And then we can rename this column and we'll say average product price. All right, and I didn't, I didn't say to rename the column. If you did, great. If you didn't, no problem either. Uh, but just remember that you can do that stuff. So let's run our query now and let's see. So uh, we get a big long, long decimal number here, but for the store with the ID of two, it looks like the average product price is $18.33. And then for the store with the ID of one, uh, the average product price is a dollar and 87, 88 cents. So uh, if you got this query, great. Uh, if not, no worries, you know, just uh, you know, give yourself some more practice with this. Um, these can be a little tricky at first, but you know, you'll get it. Just keep trying and keep practicing. And I promise you, it'll it'll click for you eventually. So uh, with that, we'll end this video here. And then in the next video, we'll look at taking the group by a step further and joining it with the join clause. So I will see you over there.